Hello, I'm Jody Mool, and today I'll be talking about how and why you might use a diary study. So, what the heck's a diary study? A diary study is a log of activities, read behaviours, that you get a user to keep over an extended period of time. You might get users to take photos to explain their activities and highlight things that stood out to them across the course of their day. I actually prefer this photo method as you gain better insight to their mindset than words alone generally offer. At Simplicit, we run diary studies with our customer groups as we see more of their habits and behaviours over a given time frame. This is really important as people often forget the day-to-day -day things that matter most to us as researchers. So the extended time allows us to monitor their habits and behaviours probably far better than other techniques such as shadowing might. So when would you use one? A diary study is often conducted following a contextual inquiry, in-depth interview or a shadowing method. Time frames might range from two weeks to two months. It really depends on what you're investigating and how long you think it might take to observe patterns of behaviour that reflect common or less common habits or routines. So how might you get started? You firstly need to recruit your users. We tend to recruit for contextual inquiry or interview processes and then note down the people we want to learn more about over an extended period. There is no need to overbake it. You probably only need between four to six users, but make sure you choose wisely. You really do want those engaged and talkative people, not the ones that were hard to extract information from. You'll need to brief your participant on what you want them to do over the diary period and give them either a physical book to record daily insights, or maybe you could try an online tool to help you engage with them daily. For that purpose, we tend to use Evernote and Yammer. I'd suggest you check in every couple of days to ensure they're doing what you want them to do and have not misinterpreted the task. Once the designated time frame is up, I tend to visit the person's house and have them talk through their diary with me. Sometimes we even conduct a group session to get everyone in the room discussing their experiences together. As with any method, a diary study is exploratory. So do what you need to do in order to get to the bottom of the answers you seek. Don't be afraid to get creative. Sometimes an interesting question or set of tasks you throw at people mid-study really does help to uncover hidden gems of behaviour that you might not have exposed otherwise. Most of all, have fun with it. Good luck.